Alright, in this video I'm going to talk about how to program the Tyrannus to operate the Radian light controller switch. So you have to set up two switches. And there's one switch that's just a toggle switch, a two position switch, like this. And you can walk through the different patterns, the light patterns with that. And then there's a three position switch, which can let you go forward and backward and change the speed. I can walk through the patterns in the forward direction, I could put it all the way down, walk through the patterns in the backward direction, or I can put it in the middle and change the speed. And then there's also a function on it that if you hold it for a long time, like four seconds, three or four seconds, it can turn the lights on and off. And so one is SF, which is just this two position switch on the back here. And the other one is SB, which is a three position switch right here. Okay, now let's look at what I've got. Now I'm actually on the number five screen, which is the input screen. And so I've just made two inputs down here on channels five and six. One is for the SF switch and the other is for the SB. And I'll just take a look. Let's go in and just take a look. So the only thing I changed in each one is just the source. And all I had to do was just highlight that like this, press enter, and then flip the switch that I want to use. In this case it's SF. And then go ahead and exit out of it. And I did that for SB as well, which is the three position switch. Now in the next screen, which is the mixer screen, right here, if I go down you can see I have five and six again and all I did in there if I edit it was actually just change the name I just gave the name LED step that's for the two position switch and the other one was LED mode which is the three position switch and that's really all I did so if you just do those two things it should work now my S8R receiver which is in here I did have to go ahead and press the failsafe switch which actually does a, a reset on the unit so it picks up those two channels otherwise they won't be active so you actually have to do that in order to get it to work but you won't have to do it on like the X8R X8R they'll automatically work as soon as you do the radio okay so that's it it's pretty simple I hope that helps I also have a video on how to wire up the J Bauer four port RC switch to the Radian light controller and I'll put a link to that underneath this video. You might also want to join my Night Radian Facebook group and I'll put a link to that too under the video. Thanks for watching.